I believe that learning to track your dividend income is one of the most important things that a dividend investor can do. And one of the tools that I use to track my dividend income over time is what I call a daily dividend calendar. And you can see exactly what that looks like right here. But essentially what this is going to do is it's going to allow us to see on what days we receive dividend income and exactly how much we receive over time. This is a really important tracking tool. I use it every single month in my monthly portfolio updates. So let's go ahead and go over exactly how this works. You can see down here we have two different tabs. We have sheet one and sheet two. Sheet one is going to be our daily dividend calendar. And you can see currently we don't have any information put in for December. But if we jump over to sheet two, we'll scroll down to our data set and we'll say that we received dividends in December from Starbucks and let's say we received about seven dollars on 12 slash 10 slash 22 and hit enter when I come back over to sheet one we can now see on that date we have seven dollars showing up that we received in dividends so this is just a really incredible tool to kind of analyze exactly what days your dividend income is coming in you can also do a lot more analysis based off of this so for example let's say maybe we looked at this and realized 60 percent of our dividend income comes in the first five days of the month that's something you would definitely want to take note of and you can see we also have um, something tracking our highest day of dividend income right here we can see that was forty two dollars and eleven cents so if we come here we can see that is looks like that came in on November 15th so again this is a really important way to be tracking your dividend income over time and I'm gonna be taking you step by step on how to build this let's go ahead and jump into it as always if you'd like to be able to download the spreadsheet then you can head over to my patreon page at the link in the description okay so you can see we have a new spreadsheet open so let's go ahead and come up here and give this a title and I'm just gonna go ahead and write down daily dividend calendar right here and let's go ahead and format this a little bit we're gonna have a lot of columns so I'm gonna shrink the size of the columns right here and I'm actually gonna come over here and we're gonna add a few more columns to this spreadsheet so you can see if I double click here we can do that and now we have some more columns added to our spreadsheet so let's go ahead and we'll come here you can see exactly which cells I'm selecting and we're gonna merge these cells this is basically just gonna be our header so let's go ahead and give this outer borders and again I'm just gonna go ahead and write daily dividend calendar right here and hit enter now one of the things we're gonna to want to do is we're gonna to want to make this look good and format it correctly so I'll center the text and vertically align it we can come here and increase the font size as well if we want to we can also do control B or click the B here to bold this to make it stand out just a little bit more you can also increase the line size of your outlines here if you would like to do so I typically do this every now and then okay but now we have our header so let's go ahead and start with the actual daily dividend calendar so you can see right here I'm gonna come here and just plug in 2022 that's important anytime you have a new year you want to plug in the year here and you can see right here below this I'm gonna go ahead and start plugging in the months and we can actually do that quicker if we just highlight those first two months and drag this down so we'll go ahead and format that column spread it out a little bit and now up here we want to have the days of each month so let's go ahead and come here and we'll list out these numbers here and again if we highlight this and go ahead and drag this over you'll see that all this will go ahead and load in we can drag it over just a little bit more we want 31 days in the month so now we have kind of the outline for our daily dividend calendar and if we come down below this by the month we're actually going to list out um, the number that each of these months correlates with and that's because it's going to help us with a formula later in the video let's go ahead and go over to sheet two and you can see I just randomly copied and pasted some data but essentially what we're doing is we're just plugging in a month the stock that we bought or got dividends from the dividends and the date so if we jump back over here now that we have our data set we can start actually building out our formula for our daily dividend calendar and this is a little bit more of an advanced formula but it's not as bad as you think so let's go ahead and come over here and do equals and we're gonna select the cell with our date right here so let's go ahead and jump back over here and we want this to be absolute value so we're gonna go ahead and we'll add dollar signs then we'll do a comma and then we're gonna do a date function and this is gonna be one of the more difficult parts but essentially we click on 2022 right here we'll add a comma and we're gonna come over here and select the one that's gonna correlate with the first month of the year and then we need to select the number one on the date it looks like it's kind of covered up by formula so I'll click here and then go ahead and highlight over it and we will close off that parentheses now we need to add absolute functions in a way that the 
formula will stay on 2022 but it will move with the months as the months change and it will also move with the days as the days change so you can see exactly what i'm doing here what where i put the dollar signs but we need to go ahead and keep moving forward with our formula so we'll add a comma and we want to add all of our dividends on those days so i'll select that column here and you can see we have absolute values it looks like we have a problem let's go ahead and look at this and see what that is and Okay, so it looks like I forgot to add the sum if. That's kind of an important element. So let's go ahead and come over here. We'll do equal sum if, and then we'll add the parentheses here. So now we can see we should have our formula right here. I'll paste that formula in the description. But if we drag this down, you can see the formula still automatically works. We can see exactly what days we're receiving dividends on. So let's go ahead and drag it all the way over. And now we can see for every single day and data point that we have exactly how much we received in dividends on those days. So basically, in a way, our dividend calendar is kind of already finished. We really just need to add some formatting to make it stand out a little bit better and more readable. So let's go ahead and add columns to all of our data. We'll add borders and we can start giving this a little bit more color. So things stand out more. And what we can do is for this first column, we can give this a slightly different color. We'll come over here and we can give our months a different color as well. And one of the next steps that we actually want to do is if we highlight all of this, we actually want to add conditional formatting. So if we come here to format, we can click on conditional formatting. And essentially what we're going to say is for any cell that is greater than zero, we want that cell to show up green. So that's a really cool formula right there. Now we can see all the days that we received dividends stands out just a little bit more. So let's go ahead and zoom out. So now we can see basically our daily dividend calendar is just about complete. So let's go ahead and come up here and add that one more chart element that I like to have. And we want to be able to see the highest day of our dividend income. So what we can do, you can see I'm selecting these cells and merging them here. And the formula we're going to use is equals max. It's going to show the maximum value. And we'll go ahead and highlight everything listed right here and hit enter. So we can see over the past year so far, the highest day in dividend income for our data set is about $42.11. So let's go ahead and format this here. We'll make this stand out a little bit more by increasing the font size also. So now we can see we have all this information here. We can see right there is where our highest day of dividend income was. And it looks like we don't have anything for December yet. So let's again go ahead and try out our daily dividend calendar. I'll add a December data point and let's see if it works. So I'll plug in December here. We can plug in the stock that we received dividends from. We'll plug in the amount we received and the date. And so once I hit enter on this, let's jump over to our sheet and we can see right here, the data point that we just plugged in is correctly showing up on our daily dividend calendar. So there you go. That's how you build a daily dividend calendar in Google Sheets. Like always, you can see I kind of reformatted the columns to make everything a little bit smaller so that it fits into our spreadsheet and looks a little bit more nicer. But there you go. That is how you build a daily dividend calendar. I have lots of more dividend tracking tools you can find on my YouTube channel and on my Patreon page. So if you'd like to be able to download this spreadsheet or any of my other spreadsheets, then you can head over to my Patreon page at the link in the description. So that being said, thank you guys so much for watching and please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel.